Hi, Mr. Lemaster here. Let's start with a question. Use the marking tool to identify the author's point of view in paragraph one. All right, so the author's point of view is how the author either sees something, sees the world. Um, it's their view on whatever the subject is. So we're kind of looking for a bit of a general, more grand idea, something that is more inclusive than something very specific. This author gives lots of ideas and shares uh, many wonderful ideas um, and thoughts and insights. But we want to find out what's driving all those thoughts and insights. And a lot of times point of view is not explicitly stated or stated directly in the text. That's what explicit means is directly in the text. Sometimes authors will state directly. They will be explicit and say, this is my view. They don't necessarily start with this is my view, but when they provide it, you go, oh, okay, that's their viewpoint. Now, this particular person, although writes about some challenges that we go through and some struggles that we go through uh, and uses struggles a number of times throughout the text, um, her point of view is a little bit different, actually. In order to get point of view, you can't just look for it in one paragraph. You have to read the entire paragraph. Uh, and all the paragraphs that follow. So beginning with paragraph one and then all the way down. Even in a testing situation, you're going to need to be able to read the entire text. You might be able to skim some of it and go quickly over some of it, but you want to get the gist of what is being said here. And sometimes you want to look at the bottom, the last sentence or the last couple of sentences. Let's just take a look at this, for example. As I said before, the path to success will be long and difficult. The path will be full of struggle. However, remember that struggle is a part of success. Diamonds can only be made with pressure. So she's talking about these challenges, but almost like they're a good thing. Like these challenges can help us. And that something is going to, you know, there's a positive twist on this. And then keep your heads high, class of 2021. We are going to change the world. Ah, uh, where do you see that in the beginning of this, of this speech here? Uh, it says, this is the beginning of the end. The end of our simple young lives lived mostly without purpose. And of course, she's being a little dramatic here. This is a middle school speech. But then she says, mark my words, class of 2021, we're going to change the world. So that's her point of view. This is her perspective. And it's repeated down at the bottom. We're going to change the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark this with our marking tool. I'm going to mark this sentence and we're going to lock it in. And this is her point of view that no matter what we go through, we are going to change the world. 